Okay, what? Oh, it's nobody. Who is it? What's going on? Who is it? I'm really confused. Is there a body inside there? Ow! Oh, it's something in there. Uh -oh. What's oh going gosh. on? What? What? Produced, recorded albums, even graced the Oscars stage. So he's like the Johnny Carson of our time. I've rubbed elbows with everyone from Robert De Niro to Lady Gaga to Michelle Obama. Teddy Bear, movie Ted. And while you might say I'm best known for appreciating the talent of those around me, here I want to show those harsh critics that have followed me my whole career that I can shine on my own too, you know? And now, I can't wait to get out there and snail it! Get it? What I want, you've got, and it might be hard to handle Like the flame that burns a candle The candle feeds a flame Yeah, yeah, what I got is full stock Fun. I mean, the costume is great. Great song choice. One of my favorites. I have a feeling that this person is is throwing their voice a little a bit little or bit. adding a little extra of a twang or something. Yes. I don't know if we're the getting voice. the natural tone yet. I feel like he's he's pushing out Kermit the Frog sound. Yes. Look how adorable that is. Oh my God, that's the cutest thing ever. Absolutely. All right, it's time for first impression guesses. Oh, no. All right. All right, you know what? Just enough of that. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna win. Life I love is making me Come on, Nicole, it's up to you. All right, you guys. Oh, I hate my guess. Time is up. Drop it in the tour bus, baby. All right, Snail, how are you feeling about all of this? Oh, well, uh, I'm here because, uh, you know, I want the world to see that even a snail can go anywhere if they put their mind to it. And if you don't mind waiting a long, long time. We're used to it. We got Ken right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. 
That makes me think that he's a little bit older, possibly. <gasps> possible. You know what, I'm really going off of this uh, host, director, writer, producer. I was getting a Jay Leno vibe from The ah. Voice. Did you get any of that? But then I started thinking, who else could do it all and is a great singer and is probably throwing their voice. There was the bear for Ted and there was the UFO for his show on Fox called Orville. I think ah. it could be Seth MacFarlane. Oh. Seth is a good singer, but I actually agree with Jay Leno because Jay Leno played himself in Ted too. That's right. He would be a car for a costume. Yeah. Well, I think that's a swerve. Because he'd normally be like, yeah, you're right, Danny, I would you know, drive a uh. car, but now I'm gonna be a sound. Is that really how you think he would say I that? I workshopped that Jay Leno voice for nine months. And <laughs> to give Ken a little bit more time to practice that voice, I'm gonna come to you, Nicole. Okay, so. There was also something about the Oscars. I know he hosted the Oscars, Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel was in Ted 2. Wait, 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 wait. Why wouldn't anybody think this is Mark Wahlberg? He was the star of Ted. Or it could be Adam Sandler. Why? There was an Eagle golf term, one of the best golf movies ever, Happy Gilmore. Oh, that's and the treasure Nicole. chest with all the golf because he'd be making all that money from Netflix, honey. Wait, 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 oh wait, wait, wait. Nicole's in the floor. Oh, Nicole, you are in the zone. Oh, girl, girl. Maisie, let's go. Well, we we might not know who you are, but you definitely snailed your performance. Yeah. Mr. Snail. You yeah. snailed it. All right, now, you take all the time you need to head on out, okay? Aww, we love you, Sam. There we go. Ted, what? Oh. It's nobody. Who is it? What's going on? Who is it? I'm really confused. Is there a body inside there? Oh, there's something in there. Uh -oh. What's oh my going gosh, on? what? What? <gasps> <laughs> Kermit the Frog! It is Kermit the Come Frog! On. Come on! The first thing I thought of was Kermit the Frog. I literally said it out loud. I go, it sounds like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> oh my God. Hi there, how are you guys doing? The most famous guest on The oh. Masked Singer ever. That's true. Can't believe it. Well, I, you know, it's as they say, it's not easy being green. <laughs> but uh, sometimes it's even harder being a snail. <laughs> and, uh, I am never going to hear the end of this from Miss Piggy. Oh, we love you, Kermit. Oh, my God, you're amazing. Kermit! Oh, yeah, I mean, the panelists made some really good guesses. I mean, there were so many good guesses that, uh, you know, when I got backstage, I had to check my ID to make sure I was still me. Nothing? Still nothing from these guys. Give it up from Kermit! I love you too. Well, first of all, I am thrilled to have my head out from inside a snail. I, I mean, it's, it's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live in there. Oh, don't get me wrong, I, I love snails. Uh, some of my best friends are gastropods. Bring it on, snail! I want to break free. I want oh, to break free. <laughs> you know, when you spend most days on stage with bears and pigs and dancing cows and penguins, an evening inside a snail is uh, kind of like another day at work. You make my dreams come true. You do. You know, wearing a mask did kind of make me feel like a different person. Or, um, <clears throat> to be more accurate, a different species. How is this different than singing in the swamp? Well, for one thing, the acoustics inside a snail shell are a lot better than in the swamp. Uh, plus, there are no alligators to eat you between the chorus and the bridge. You make my, you make my, you make my dreams come true. Do, do. Well, you know, it's kind of nice to work anonymously. Uh, that way, if the material doesn't go over, uh, I don't get blamed. Um, at least not till the end. Or, like now. <clears throat> Because you know he gets recognized everywhere he goes. You know, being anonymous is a new experience for me. Uh, usually I'm pretty recognizable. Yeah, you're the most <laughs> recognizable <laughs> frog and a snail on the planet. You know, people see a short green guy and they know it's either me or Yoda. Yeah, it was great being mysterious for a while. This is 
what the Mass Singer is all about, having fun. I am a big fan of Mass Singer, of course, and you know, I, I wanted to see if I could stump the panel. I have a feeling that this person is, is throwing their voice a little a bit little or bit. adding a little extra of a twang or something. You know, people usually don't expect a talking frog, so I uh, thought I had a pretty good chance. I mean, this could legit be the biggest star we've ever had on Mass Singer. Yeah. Right? Huge names. Yeah, you know, I, I do think that the panelists were surprised, and I really hope that my being the first non-human celebrity guest will start a trend on the show. Uh, you know, it's as they say, it's not easy being green. <laughs> but uh, sometimes it's even harder being a snail. Well, you know, a lot of my friends are snails, and I always say, don't judge another until you've walked a mile in their shell. And, uh... <clears throat> Now I know how hard it is to travel a mile in a shell, which it, it, it's a lot harder than it looks. Well, congratulations, Snail. Oh, you know what? The security here was so tight, even Miss Piggy couldn't find me, which uh, <clears throat> means I'll be back the next time I need a safe space. I am never going to hear the end of this from Miss Piggy. <laughs> uh, in fact, I was locked in my shell the entire time I was here. Um, <clears throat> hey, guys, you might want to air it out. Uh, I ordered a pizza. Extra garlic. <clears throat> <laughs> Can you smell it? We might not know who you are, but you definitely snailed your performance, Mr. Snail. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for guessing. And remember, even if you're a snail or a frog, if you believe in yourself and have friends who believe in you, your dream can come true. Bye. I mean... You know he's not real, right?